Sides neck and neck competing for progress towards that playoffs bracket. So let's set up tomorrow's match, Mark, by recalling the eventful away match Swindon played against tomorrow's opposition. Yeah, I think to Swindon were top of the league when they went to South End, Rog, and they conceded this uh, early goal, which is a hell of a goal from Brett Angel, who's turned out to be one of the second division's leading scorers. Swindon replied not too long after, a good run by Summerby. I think it was a block tackle that came up for White to score. I think Swindon could do, do with him back as well, scoring a few goals to add to Mitchell and Shearer. This was poor defending the second goal. I think uh, Steve Foley, who's no longer at the club, on his backside, good cross. And Angel again at the far post. He just seemed to score this fellow and from any angle. And spectacular and uh, tappings as well. This was the third goal. Steve Tilson, who's a very, very underrated player. And certainly made a lot of progress in South End's team this, more, this, this year. Consolation for Swindon came at the end. Um, our mate Duncan, who certainly knows how to finish. Doesn't score many bad goals, does he? Get in. But, uh, yeah, they, they need to win again tomorrow. And they picked up in midweek. And Southend are on the way. Uh, they're on the way down the league at the moment. Yeah, one of those vital must-win situations for Swindon. Straight into the side to strengthen their defence against Southend. Player manager Glenn Hoddle wanted him to provide the anchor role as they went all out for the points needed to get back in the promotion race. Tenth place Swindon started the game just two points behind their opponents and tried to capitalise on their midweek victory, which kept them amongst the promotion hopefuls. And it was Tuesday's two-goal hero, Duncan Shearer, who put them ahead, and in doing so, equalled a post-war record held by Don Rogers. Ten minutes later, he almost made it 33 for the season. Paul Sampson seeing a long-range effort late. And Southend's Pat Scully clearing the danger. But Southend were out to improve their mediocre away record this season, just five wins and 18 matches. Superb work from Steve Tilson, crafting an angle to put through Andy Ansar, who, with Fraser Digby to beat, obliged his teammates and made it 1-1. In the second half, Swindon kept alive their playoff hopes with two goals in six minutes. Paul Bowden scored from the penalty spot after Southend handled. Dave Mitchell scored in the 63rd minute to make the final score from the county ground. Swindon 3, Southend 1. Two wins in a week. They're now back in striking distance of the playoffs with a match against fellow promotion hopefuls Portsmouth to come this Saturday. It promises to be worth six points to the winner. Swindon put themselves firmly back on the playoff trail with a decisive win over close rivals South End. Kerslake and Jones combining on the right. The cross met by Dave Mitchell. Following up for his 32nd goal of the season, Duncan Shearer, who now equals Don Rogers' post-war record set in 1967. Southend forced themselves level on the half hour. Delightful through ball from Steve Tilson and the answer's perfect chip. Too good for Fraser Digby. Then just after half time, a controversial incident that gave Swindon the lead. Mitchell chasing and challenging goalkeeper Sansom, but defender Pryor holding him back. The referee awarding a penalty. And Welsh international Paul Bowden stepping up to slot it home. And Swindon made sure of the three points when Duncan Shearer was put clear on the left. South End thought he was offside, but he drew Sansom, and Dave Mitchell slotted the ball home. Swindon very much back in the playoff race. And a nice gesture from Swindon. They've offered to stage a league match for the fourth division strugglers' older shot if the shots can get their winding up order in the High Court. They'll then be able to borrow the county ground on Friday for the match against York. 